confirmed as IPOP reveals real identity of those who beheaded Anambra lawmaker. One good turn deserves another. You see, this is why Governor Charles Soludo have still has, have, have, have believed so much in IPOP and is still believing in IPOP. You see, if you watch it very well, um, Professor Charles Soludo is using IPOP not because he wants to use them to perpetrate evil, because he even he himself already know IPOP and what they are capable of doing. He have said it that IPOP is not a violent group, that IPOP is not um, a devilish group, that it is a group that is um, filled with courage. Courage. Do you understand? That is IPOP for you. So, that all these are happening, that all these are going on, is enough reason for IPOP to be recognized. For IPOP to be recognized. We, on our own, are just um, proving difficult. We're just proving difficult. Look, look at now. See what IPOP have just done. If you give IPOP the opportunity, you will see that with the security outfit ESN, a lot of criminals in the Southeast, most especially our Southeast governors, will be exposed. Let's check the content, my dear listeners. This is Evening News. The separatist group spoke in a statement issued on Tuesday by its spokesman, Ima Pohafo. The indigenous people of Biafran, IPOP, has said its militant group, the Eastern Security Network, ESN, is not responsible for the beheading of a member of the Anambra State House of Assembly, Okechuku Okoye. The group, while giving information on the people behind the dastardly act, said those who are working against the actualization of its objectives are trying to portray the group in bad light. Explaining what happened, IPOP said Okoye was beheaded by fifth columnist who are bent on destabilizing its struggle in the southeast. In statement issued on Tuesday, spokesman of IPOP Ima Powerful said the Nigerian government are responsible for the breakdown of law and order in the southeast region, adding that the heinous crimes have been perpetrated by security operatives. A statement by Powerful reads partly, We, the global family of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, under our great leader, Mazi Namdekano, strongly condemn the abominable beheading of Honorable Okechuku Okoye, who was abducted a few days ago in his area. We want to also state categorically that, contrary to insinuations in some quarters, the indigenous people of Biafran IPOP could not in any way have had anything to do with this abominable act. It is imperative to state here that enemies of Biafran freedom and traitors in our region are seriously pulling all stunts to derail the freedom of our leader and the freedom of our dear nation, Biafra. After thorough investigations by our intelligence team, we found out that the abominable beheading of Honorable Okechuku Okoye is the system of the fifth columnist who happened to destabilize the efforts of the indigenous people of Biafran, IPOP. These barbarians have been well mobilized financially and otherwise by DSS and DMI to create anarchy in our land in an attempt to derail our mark to freedom. They will commit these heinous crimes and their paymaster will use the Nigerian compromised media houses to accuse IPOP of being responsible for what we know nothing about. The question is why is IPOP being demonized unnecessarily? 
The simple answer is that we are fighting for the freedom of our people because we rejected their forceful takeover of our land. The IPO intelligence unit working around the clock discovered the gimmicks and antics of Nigerian government and its security agencies, especially the Army, DSS, Police, NIA, and DMI intelligence. Those pointing accusing fingers at us are the same people sponsoring the disturbing insecurity in our land. Biafra land has been infiltrated by Fulani Boko people wearing Nigerian security uniforms and operating under disguise as agents of death and destruction of Biafra land. IPOP has an idea. IPOP has an idea. <laughs> My dear people, things are happening. You see, don't be surprised that this same country, Nigeria, that is pretending to be using the security operative to go after these criminals, are still the one giving these criminals the Nigerian security uniform to disguise and, up and, and, and carry out this dastardly act. How many times have we caught the Nigerian, the Nigerian soldier going behind the door to supply food to the bandits? How many times have we caught the Nigerian soldier going behind the door to supply weapons to the bandits? You see that? So when we see things like this, instead of us to take swift action, we just take our eyes off. <laughs> it's very, very wrong. Very, very, very wrong. We are the one giving these people the power to move on, the power to operate. So IPOP know what they are saying. IPOP know what they are doing. After committing all these things, they will now lay it on IPOP and say it is IPOP that did it. That is the action. That is the system. That is the system and their style. You see, my happiness is that IPOP is a group that is capable. 100% capable. Capable to expose, capable to review, and capable to prove beyond every reasonable doubt. And when they are proving it, they will prove it with visible proofs. That's it. So, my dear people, you just have to see this exactly how these things supposed to be. Let me hear you speak. Let me know, let me know what, what you think and what your opinion on this very broadcast uh, may be. Don't forget your comments still are very, 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 very important. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well. Ask the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.